On the Susquehanna River today with my buddy Tyler and we're going to be fishing pre-spawn river smallmouth. We're going to be using um, soft plastic jerk baits and, and little swim baits and stuff but with a little bit of a twist. Let's take a look. This is a, a football swing jig that I've got a, uh, a little plastic jerk bait rigged on behind so it's just an eighth ounce football head and then that let's take a look here has a lot of different um, a lot of different angles that this is going to have when that that drags along the bottom there so we'll give that a shot see how that comes through the rocks see how these smallmouth like this uh, copper and purple flake uh, soft jerk bait on that that swing jig I got a couple smaller ones rigged up um, and then obviously we, we always have the uh, something rigged on a dragon head as well so, you ready to get them yep cool sounds good of the mouth. Nice light wire hook. What's nice about this rig is that you get to to choose whatever hook you like the most. So good start today. Another nice thing about this rig is they don't snag very often but when they do here's a here's a neat trick. You open the bale, you pull it out to the side like this and you you have your fingers pinched on that line such that when you do snap up on the rod, it's going to pull between your index finger and your thumb, and that's going to release a bunch of line, throwing it hard in the direction of the snag. And usually, that's enough force, enough release of tension that it it'll it'll pop that snag out. Let me see if I can do it with this one. Yep, came out. You got to re-rig it. Now because the, the takes are often very subtle, we still have cold water, at least cool water. I think we're in the, I don't know, mid to upper 40s. And it, it goes up and down a lot in the spring. I'm using set. And that set means that when they, they pick it up real soft, they're still gonna hold it long enough for me to see Sometimes I'm just watching the line and the line changes. It'll, it'll move one way or the other, it'll, it'll relax, which means one's picked it up and he's moving towards you, or it'll just, it'll just start moving off. Or sometimes it just, the posture of the line, the way it's entering the water, just changes a little bit. Now, if, you're, if you don't have scent, they won't hold on to it quite as long as if they do. So it just buys you some extra time to notice that something has changed and to set the hook. I gotta re-rig this one, so I'll take a moment and show you how it's rigged on there. Let's zoom in on there, nice and close. All right, so what I got here is a little hook keeper, a little do-it hitching post. I slide that up to the little bend in the hook. It's just a, a regular fine wire gauge worm hook. I think this is a, a two-aught, and there's the head. That, that swings back and forth and all I'm going to do is take the nose of that that soft plastic jerk bait shove it on there just twisting it in place the same way I do with the dragon head or any other any other bait that uses this sort of setup this sort of um, do it hitching post the do it hitching posts are great for drop shots too because the they mean that you lose fewer baits. 
So I'm, I'm screwing that on there so it's nice and tight. I go ahead and move it up to the bend. And then I just rig it the same way that you would rig, uh, rig a soft plastic Texas rig. A weedless. Go ahead and put that that hook back in there so it's either flush or I've actually poked it back in there to make it a little bit more weedless. I've poured these nice and soft, so it's not a you know not a big deal for me to you know to hook the point into the soft plastic because it's going to come through there real well. Nice soft soft plastic. One really nice option for fishing these these swing heads is to use floating soft plastics. Right here I have a Confidence, bait, Confidence Baits large bird and this one is in, in dark brown and what that'll do is that tail will float up off the bottom and really get the full range of, of rotation off of that, that pivot point on the back of the, uh, the, the swing head. So let's take a look at that underwater see what that looks like. Underneath the boat. Oh, this is a nice one. Very nice fish. Mm. Hit that big fluke. This is on a smaller hook, so I want to be careful with this. I'm using the smaller hooks on this rig just because it's lighter. Smaller hooks are going to be nice and light. <laughs> And it's going to allow that bait to be lightweight, pivoting on that head. And that got them right in the right in the corner of the mouth, but I had them good. It's a little extra wide gap hook, maybe a one odd. So, a pretty one, huh? <laughs> you got him. Oh god! I saw that. They're biting. Nice. Hold them up, man. Good catch. Nice. So Tyler's fishing in these these foam pockets where the foam is just settled. We got fast water out on the other side and fast water over here, but he's hitting these these pockets where there's kind of slow current. So I had to retie. I'm always checking the last, just running my fingers down the last couple inches of line, I can feel some nicks right there. And that right there is heartbreak in the making. So I'll go ahead and use the opportunity to having this one off to, uh, to show you this different style hook. So I'm just, I'm still experimenting. That one is a, like a Gamagatsu super line one knot so and it's got a little bit of a bend there just enough to keep that to that that um screw lock that that hitching post will will get right on that bend and hold that bait in place but because it's such a short hook it um you know it it, it the buoyancy of the bait the leverage really pulls it up nicely so we'll retie that one and give it another go Are you mad? Are you 
face. Oh yeah. That's one of the better ones. Now with the tough winter we just had, it's nice to finally get out there on the river now that it's thawed and, uh, and you know try out some of the tackle crafting, the tinkering I've been doing over this long winter. And what I had the most success with today was uh, with, a, with a swing jig head. And this one I made with a, uh, a do-it mold. I'm going to go over that in, here in a little bit. It's an eighth ounce. I use the smallest cavity and this is a Gamagatsu uh, G-Lock. 2 aught hook so and I, I used flukes on them I used I think my favorite presentation was using this this is a confidence baits uh, large bird and because this is a floating soft plastic it really had a very wide range on that on that swinging pivoting pivoting head there uh, a lot of different you know motions that that could make rigged up it looks like this so, and all I'm doing is I'm putting a, I'll show you real quick, it's a, a do it hitching post right there. Same thing we put on the, the dragon heads that you screw your soft plastics into. I'm just clipping that onto the little bend there. And then you take whatever your soft plastic is, in this case it's this, this large bird, just screwing it on there. And this is a very simple, you know, version of um, a very simple profile. And smallmouth like simple profiles for whatever reason. Um, the flukes worked well. A lot of, you know, finesse worms I think would work well too. But that, that did real well on the river today. Here shortly I'll be on some, um, <clears throat> on some reservoirs fishing for largemouth. And I'm going to show you how... I'm going to use the same head, a little bit heavier weight, um, to to present to largemouth who prefer a little bit more, um, I don't know, more active uh, profile. Let's take a look. All right. So you, let me just go ahead and start with how you make these. Um, there are these little cavities, and there's an insert here. Let's take a look at that. You you take your in this case extra wide gap hook and you you hook it onto that and then you put that little wire insert with the with the hook on there and you just put that on and then you put it in one of these these cavities you close it up you pour your lead you pop it out you trim it and then you paint it and by the time you're done it looks like one of these here uh, it's a nice head nice football head it's got the uh, it's got the the eyelet is actually molded into the uh, you know the body of the head, and it's got a little flat surface for it to to want to stand up like that. So, all right. So let's take a look at how I'm going to rig um, something for largemouth. I've got the head here. All I want to do is take a, a skirt. In this case, it's a bio silk skirt. You can tie your own there, but. I think just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to go ahead and thread that on there. Put that on the hook. Slide it up. I'm going to slide it all the way up against the head tight. And since I know I'll probably fish, be fishing some dingy water, I'm going to want a rattle. And I got these little, these magnum rattles on the little, these, I'll try to pull one off here. It's almost like a little suction cup type thing. Holds it on there. You pop that in. Pop that on there. It's got some ball bearing rattles in there. And then there's a little little hole in the middle. You go ahead and thread that on there. So that'll flop around and, and make some noise as it's coming across some timber or you know bumping against stumps or whatever I got going on out there. And then I got a... Uh, 
little craw trailer here. This one happens to have a little, it's one we sell at Confidence Baits. Um, it's got a little cavity for a glass rattle. So even more noise coming out of this, this bait. So I got the glass rattle in here. I'm gonna shove it in that hole. All sorts of noise. All right, and then you take that hitching post, screw it into the tail of the craw. It's a nice sound. You can still get at the, I'm gonna pull that skirt back, you can see. You can still get at that, that bend. You're just gonna snap that little hitching post hook keeper in place. Tighten it down all the way, nice and flush. And then I'm going to go ahead and poke it across there. Okay, so it looks, you know, at first glance like your standard, and I got one in Green Pumpkin here next to it, your standard, you know, football head jig, but you got two different kinds of rattles, you got that that head that, that pivots and that does some good things, you know, coming through rocky structure in terms of not getting hooked. It also, when, when, you, when you hook a fish and they start shaking their head, um, you know, it, it gives you the leverage. I, I think they're less likely to throw a swing jig than they are a standard, you know, standard football head. So, you know, swing jig, it's good for river smallmouth if you, if you go with a smaller, more simple profile, it's good for reservoir largemouth. We'll find out. We'll be out there next week in filming and see how this thing does for the largies.